In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the Line Item Group feature in Estimate Rocket. Line Item Groups allow you to visually separate selected line items and their pricing within an estimate. First, let's learn the basics of how to create a group. Here we have two line items on the document with the default empty group name. Items will always be grouped like this by default if no groups are used. We can move one of the line items into a new group simply by editing it and entering a name into the group field. You can see that the item is now separated from the default group. I'll also change the group name in the other line item as well. If we preview the document, we can now see that it looks just like we have it on the project page. Groups can have any name, but typically you want them to be something that describes the items within it, such as materials, scope of work, labor, specifications, and so on. The order of the groups can also be changed by selecting the four-way arrow on the right-hand side of the group, which enables the click and drag feature. Line items can also be reordered, but only within the group they are currently in. Each group has its own set of properties that can be customized by selecting the group edit button next to its name. Here you can choose to display or hide various options like the line item unit prices, quantities, totals, group total, group quantity, and whether or not you have the group total included in the document. A good example for using this would be if you wanted to present multiple options to your customers such as a good, better, and best offering, or simply add an optional service or material. If there are times you do not want to show a unit price or quantity, you can hide these as well. One other powerful group feature is the Exclude from Document option. This allows you to exclude an entire group from the document, but still have it there for future reference. For those looking to create a more formal estimate using a longer format, hiding everything will allow the item description to fill up the entire width of the page, and this can be very useful for a scope of work or additional terms. For more information on the special formatting you see here, please refer to our Markdown Cheat Sheet on our support page. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions or would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one training session.